You know who won the NCAA tournament in 2013? The fans, because we got to see the coolest surprise in NCAA history. I'm talking, of course, about the Florida Gulf Coast Eagles, AKA Dunk City, AKA Florida Dunk Coast, AKA Heroes of March, AKA FGC, you next year, Georgetown. Since the tournament field expanded to 64 teams in 1985, there have been 124 15 seeds to play in the first weekend. Only seven of those survived their matchup against a two seed. Seven out of 124, and only one of those has ever reached the Sweet 16, Florida Gulf Coast. But this wasn't just about a historic first, it was the way they did it. Throw traditional gameplay out the window. This wasn't like Princeton slaying Goliath with backdoor cuts. This was a bunch of nobodies throwing down tomahawk dunks on Georgetown. Uh, it wasn't like, oh, one guy did a sweet dunk on a fast break. They were tossing alley-oops in their half-court offense and dunking so aggressively that their bodies swung on the rim like pendulums. It was a joy to watch and perfect for the age of social media because everything they did translated to a shareable animated GIF. They were the first viral underdog. Oh, and did I mention that this was their second year in Division I? Their second year! The school was so unknown that it kind of became a blank canvas of Florida stories where everything was believable. Oh, the coach is married to a bikini model? Yeah, that sounds right. The beach on campus isn't the coast, but actually a lake. Hey, that's your fault for assuming otherwise. Oh, the school is a real estate scam and all the dorms are made of balsa wood and the president is an alligator indicted for tax fraud. Okay, probably not true, but it wouldn't surprise me. And that's what was so great about Dunk City. It was so unbelievable and enjoyable that it didn't even feel real. It was like God spliced the ending of a sports movie into a corner of the NCAA bracket and we were left trying to piece together the plot from what we just saw. Uh, even now, looking back, it's still doesn't feel real and what else could you want from a Cinderella story?